maybe a tricky question, but which one is your most favorite? I mean, each <laughs> one, each one has a different, um, each one has a, has a different role or a different place. I mean, I think one of the ones that we, uh, you know, maybe one of the ones that's probably been most transformed by AI is search, you know, like classic computer science or search, you know, search has been a domain in computer science for like 40 or 50 years, right? And so, you know, there was originally this problem of information retrieval, you know, maybe 20 to 30 years ago, all the energy and information retrieval went into web search. And, you know, what was the cutting edge of information retrieval? Well, it's whatever Google shipped or whatever Bing had shipped that week. Um, in the last two to three years, information retrieval has really been transformed again by large language models. And so LLMs first change, how do we do information retrieval? So like all the internals of a search stack, for example, have been transformed by LLMs. You know, we went from classic stuff like PageRank uh, to now semantic ranking and different forms of uh, AI-based ranking. Um, and, you know, maybe about two to three years ago, we saw a big new use case emerge for our search, which is um, retrieval augmented generation or RAG with LLMs. So how do you take your private internal data and feed it to a language model to do, um, you know, custom tasks, custom tools? Um, I think we're on the cusp of yet another one of these transformations. I mean, we are already seeing, you know, you know, agents is the big hot new word and big hot new domain for AI in 2025. And so you were on the verge of yet another transformation where we go from the purpose of search was to feed humans or feed L, you know, feed data to LLMs who would then turn for uh, feed humans to, oh, wow, maybe the single biggest use case of search might be to actually feed data to machines or feed data to agents and then let them go crazy and, you know, solve problems for us and so on.